हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ग्राफिकल मेथड फॉर नॉन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम आई हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस मेथड इन हिंदी इफ यू वांट टू वॉच इन हिंदी आई हैड प्रोवाइडेड माय लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड इफ यू नीड एनी हेल्प रिगार्डिंग दिस मैथड आई हैड प्रोवाइडेड माई व्हाट्सएप नंबर ऑल्सो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो लेट एस स्टार्ट हेयर द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन इज मैक्सिमम जेड इज इक्वल टू एट एक्स वन माइनस एक्स वन स्क्र प्लस एट एक्स टू माइनस एक्स टू स्क्र एंड द कॉन्स्टेंट्स और एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू लेस देन ट्वेल्व एक्स वन माइनस एक्स टू ग्रेटर देन फोर एंड एक्स वन एक्स टू ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन दिस नॉन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन इज नॉन लीनियर सी हेयर द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन इज नॉन लीनियर ओके वेयर एज द कॉन्स्टेंट्स आर लीनियर हेयर द कॉन्स्टेंट्स आर लीनियर नाउ plot the constant on the graph first of all we will plot this constant on the graph here is the graph x axis is denoted by x1 and y axis is denoted by x2 now i will write these constant as equality constant okay and then x1 minus x2 is equal to 4 okay for first line i will find the points when x2 is equal to 0 x1 is equal to 12 that is 12 0 then when x1 is equal to 0 x2 will be 12 okay these are the points now i will join these points on the graph this is the 12 0 and this is 0 12 i will join this Okay, let us consider this line as first line, and this as second line. Okay. Now I will plot second line for this. When I will put x one zero, I will get x two minus four. And then when I will put x two zero, I will get four, x one four. Okay. so i will plot here okay this is the line number second this is 0 minus 4 and uh, this one is 0 sorry 4 and 0 okay this is a uh, Twelve zero. This one is zero. Twelve. Then determine the feasible region. Now we have to determine the feasible region. Here, when I see the first constant, the first constant is less than or equal to twelve. Means the area will be below the line. Okay, this line area. And then x one minus x two, which is greater than four, means the area will be above this line. Means this area. Okay. Here x one and x two are greater than zero means this region and above this region. Okay, that means this is the common region, which is the required feasible region. Okay, friends. Now, let us proceed to the step number three. We now find the point giving maximum value of z. Here the objective function is of maximization, so we have to find out the point which give maximum value to the z. the point giving the maximum value of z is the point at which the feasible region is tangent to the circle the required point will be will be the point at which feasible region is tangent to the circle okay given by the objective function okay this is the objective function represent the equation of a circle now i will tell you how this equation is representing the circle okay when i will write here 8x1 Minus x one square plus eight x two minus x two square, which is equal to zero. Suppose I will consider this is equal to zero. Then if x one minus four square plus x two minus four square, which is equal to zero. Okay. Then uh, if I will okay uh, plus sixteen minus eight x one. Okay plus After simplifying, 
I will get this equation. Sorry, okay. Uh, x to square plus 16 minus 8 x2 okay when i will is equal to 0 okay when i will take 16 and 16 to the left hand side i will get the required addition it means that this is the equation of circle with the center 4 now i will plot the center of a circle i will determine the center of a circle on graph here is 4 and 4 okay uh, the center for the circle will be this point okay friends now we have to determine a point where the circle will be tangent to the feasible region okay for this we will find the gradient of a tangent that is slope of tangent okay the gradient of tangent to the circle can be obtained by differentiating the following equations okay this is the objective function and we will differentiate this with respect to x1 i will get 8 minus 2x1 plus 8 d, uh, dx2 upon dx1 minus 2x2 dx2 upon dx1 okay after simplifying i will get dx2 upon dx1 is equal to 2x1 minus 8 upon 8 minus 2x1 and i will consider this as first equation okay and then i will find the gradient of the second line that is constant number one x1 plus x2 is equal to 12 okay after simplifying dx1 upon dx2 then dx2 upon dx1 is equal to 0 and then i will get dx2 upon dx1 is equal to minus 1 okay friends and then i will find the gradient of dx1 minus x2 is equal to 4 okay after simplifying i will get dx2 upon dx1 is equal to 1 now suppose if the line x1 plus x2 is equal to 12 that is first constraint is tangent to the circle then put we have to put the gradient of line which is dx2 upon dx1 is equal to minus i will put the value of this in the first the ob uh, objective of gradient sorry the gradient of objective function that is circle okay when i put the value of dx2 upon dx1 is equal to minus 1 in first i will get 2x2 minus 8 upon 8 minus 2x2 is equal to minus 1 okay then after simplifying i will get x1 is equal to x2 then i will put the value of x1 is equal to x2 in this equation that is x1 plus x2 is equal to 12 okay and when i will put uh, in this line i will get x1 is equal to 6 and since x1 is equal to x2 both the point will be 6 and 6 but this does not satisfy the given constant now I will check either these values satisfy the constants or not. When I will put in the first constant 6 plus 6 which is less than or equal to 12 means this constant is satisfied. But when I will put in this second constant 6 minus 6 which is equal to 0 which is not equal to not greater than 4 that means second constant is not satisfied by this point. So we proceed further. If the line x1 minus x2 is equal to 4 if the second constant is equal to 4 is tangent to the circle then put now we will put the gradient of this line which is dx2 upon dx1 is equal to 4 in the first line that is uh, 2x1 minus 8 upon 8 minus 2x2 okay i will get x1 plus x2 is equal to 8 now i will put the value of x1 x2 that is value of x1 is equal to 8 minus x2 in this line x1 minus x2 is equal to 4 okay after simplifying i will get x2 is equal to 2 and x1 is equal to 6 okay now we will again check either these uh, either this point satisfy the constants or not here when i will put x1 is equal to 6 and x2 is equal to 6 which is equal to 8 which is less than or equal to 12 means first constant is satisfied and when i will put in this constant i will get 6 minus 2 that is 4 which it means that second constant is also satisfied okay this point lies in the feasible region also this point lie in the feasible region okay this is the graph and 6 to point is here on the feasible region okay this is 6 to point here okay which is also on the feasible region okay and both constant are satisfied this means the tangent of the circle to the line is at 6 to okay 
now we will draw a circle which is tangent to the feasible region okay friends this is the circle okay the main problem was what should be the radius of circle because radius was not given in the objective function so now we have to find the radius of circle for this we find these two points here we have to find the radius of circle which is tangent to this line okay so these are the required points now i will put the value of x1 is equal to 6 x2 is equal to 2 in the objective function here in the first objective function and i get the uh, desired result maximum z is equal to 24 which is the required answer friends if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share this video thanks for watching